Hey you, I'm Lucy Luck and welcome to the Cozy Club. I'm starting this YouTube channel to help my fellow insomniacs by doing what I do best. Avoiding my responsibilities and playing video games. I love to play non-traditional cozy games and make them cozy. Today I'm going to be playing Red Dead Redemption Online so that no one clicks on this video as the game has become increasingly irrelevant and I'm terrified of success. But, on the off chance that you really are watching, I'm so glad that you are here. And without further ado, grab your comfiest blanket, pop on some headphones if you like, and join me for some adventures. This was the first game to truly transform me into the gamer girl that I am today. I've been incredibly lucky to meet such a wholesome group of friends through this game, and I truly do hope that we see a future in its further development. Now, I'm going to light a candle before we get started. This is a Scents and Spirits collection candle made with soy wax and a cotton wick. The scent is whiskey and tobacco, and so it smells just like a healthy and stable household should. If you can hear, my cat has decided to make a timely appearance. Listen to those purrs. I don't have the heart to tell him to go away. So, as long as he doesn't create any commotion, I think that we will be just fine. I'm gonna begin by doing some crafting and making some split point ammunition. Now, split point ammo is made by creating a notch into the top of your regular ammunition. It's incredibly accurate and worthwhile. And I just love the sounds of crafting these one by one. If you've played this game, I would love to hear some of your favorite problematic cozy elements. That was definitely one of mine. Let's pick an outfit to roam around in. I think I'm going to travel from one end of the map to the other, just picking flowers along the way, taking in the world, so let's choose something cool and casual. Perfect. Only kidding, because I care deeply about what other people think. Now that spent the time to appear very comfortable and natural, we're going to have to take care of our horse. I'd like you to meet Doja. All of my horses in this game are named after singers, bands, or songs, because original names are hard and require brain cells that I do not have. Where should we go today? How about... Let's go to Rhodes. That sounds nice. Now, there is this great feature where you can pick a spot on the map and your horse will auto-run there cinematic mode, which is incredibly handy, but for the purpose of this video, I don't know if we will utilize this or not. We'll just see how we're feeling along the way. There's nothing wrong with the little things, the little things, the little things in 
games that make your life easier. I'm very much an advocate for playing hard games on easy mode if it's more enjoyable for you. Of course, it's fun to be challenged, but also it's okay to make things easier on yourself. Real life is hard enough, so don't feel ashamed to make things more manageable for yourself in this space. So, as we make our way through the desert, I find it appropriate to spam Eagle Eye to bring out the land's abundant flora and fauna. And, of course, there is none, because this is, in fact, the desert. Although the forageables are lacking, at least there's still an abundance of men to make sounds at you. And with that validation, I feel so much better. Now that I've made it absolutely clear that I have debilitating ADHD, Stop for a moment to scare the everlasting solace out of my horse and enjoy this view. Wow. They worked really hard in this game, and I still choose to be ungrateful. Now that we're finally making our way out of the desert, I think that we finally found something. Discovering that this is a daily unleashes my inner unbridled joy and whimsy. I will now find every opportunity to pick absolutely every natural resource I find like a proper American. Turns out my satchel cannot, in fact, carry dozens of every plant from the game, so I will need to sell these at some point. The train has just reminded me that for my next video, I'm planning on doing a Red Dead ambiance video. No talking, just riding the train around the map. Let me know if that sounds good to you, and I'd also like to know what kind of videos you're interested in watching in the future. I really am looking forward to getting to know all of you guys, and I want to hear from you. Now, we have a long journey ahead of us, so I'd like to take a moment to introduce today's sponsor, and that is no one, because this is my first video. I just wanted to showcase that I have what it takes to introduce one. Raycon. I am now confronted with the harsh reality that I am not the main character of this story, and other real-life humans exist in this virtual world. The lack of knowledge of their motives terrifies me, and I self-soothe by telling myself big girl, and they are more afraid of me than I am of them. I continue to push forward instead of making new friends. But in total seriousness, it does feel increasingly rare that you run into other players these days. If you've been plugged into the Red Dead community, I'm sure you know why that is, but I want to talk about some of the more positive things about this game. Red Dead has managed 
the impossible in creating a world that is truly alive. And yet it facilitates this profound sense of intimacy. You can camp under the stars, crafting away, go fishing and cook your successful catches of the day. The clothing is also wonderful to play around with. I probably spent more time creating outfit combinations than I did completing the story itself, which was also beautiful, by the way. You can ride your horse through the countryside, picking various flowers, herbs, and wild fruits and vegetables like I'm doing now. And every scene is truly a work of art. It is at this point that it becomes abundantly clear that the gamer gods have deemed my praise unworthy and sent in the wolves, but no one messes with my viewers' sleepy time. No one. Anyway, it is incredibly beautiful here, but given the time of day, I anticipate further spookiness to ensue. So. I'm going to have to force myself to make things easier by fast traveling to another location in order to sell my herbs. The shocking lack of doctors puts me further off course, but that's okay. So, while we make our way towards fast travel post. I hope you enjoy some of the sounds of the forest. Valentine is one of my favorite in the game, so I am looking forward to our little side quest here. And I'm not alone in loving this spot, so I imagine we're going to be able to enjoy the sounds of a bored player with nothing better to do than terrorize a small we can feel a renewed sense of confidence and invulnerability as we make our way to the doctor. And I'm just going to hitch my horse here because it feels a little more humane than leaving her out in the road. And I'm going to clean her up a bit because She's gotten a bit messy from the voyage. Ah, I remember that face. Hello. My medicine's been keeping you healthy, I trust. Actually, I just... Have a look. I just sell here. Well, let's see what you got. It's like he doesn't even want to listen to me. And he's sure. just thinking about the next thing he's going to say. We're gonna pretend for a moment that he's not being super rude to me and try to sell all of these things. Hello? Okay. He won't even buy most of my stuff. And I don't know what I'm more upset about. You'd never guess it, but the preacher wears false teeth. I put them together myself. Okay, that is definitely the most upsetting thing. by Marie condoing my satchel and letting go of two things that didn't spark joy, I can now get back to my original mission. It looks 
looks like the sun is starting to come up and the views are about to get incredible so I'm going to embrace silence for just a moment and let you enjoy the sounds and the sights of the game So, so beautiful. It's like a Bob Ross painting. And I have to express my absolute admiration for that man and everything that he did for us. He was an ASM artist before we even knew what ASMR was. And he's a big reason why I want to make these videos I also want to take a moment to shout out some of the people from the YouTube community that have inspired me to take this leap. The first one being Mad Morph. Now, he doesn't do ASMR per se, but all of his gaming content is so relaxing. And those videos have brought me oh so much comfort especially over the last couple of years. He also has a wonderful sleep podcast that I have to mention as well, and he reads stories to help you fall asleep. And the next person I want to mention is Jeannie B. ASMR. She just recently joined the ASMR community and I am in so much awe of her presence. She's brought so much wholesomeness to this platform, and watching her grow has inspired me to grow. So, thank you, Jeannie B, for shining your light. Now, I have to bring up Jubilee Whispers, and she is truly paved the way for people like me to make the content that I do, so if for any reason you haven't heard of her, check out her lovely ASMR gaming videos. Our video is quickly reaching the 20 minute mark, and I don't want this to run too long for you guys. So, I hope you've enjoyed the journey so far, and hope you join me again for the last part of our pilgrimage in Red Dead. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and don't hesitate to give me some feedback, as I'm very new to this, and want to know what you would all like to see. So sweet dreams, cozy club, and I will see you next time.